Howdy, this is Justin with Green Residential and today I'm looking at a breaker panel. This is an interior breaker panel inside of a garage. Other places you can find interior breaker panels are in utility rooms or even laundry rooms. There are also exterior breaker panels which are commonly found outside along the side of the house or in the back of the house. The reason why I'm showing you this breaker panel, I want to give you a rundown of where breaker panels commonly are and how they, the different types of breakers inside and, how, and the basic setup. So if in the event of emergency you need to shut something off, you should be familiar enough to know how to use a breaker panel and um, be able to operate it with confidence. So let's start. So above, the, uh, on the top, is your main breaker. If you turn this off, this will turn the power off to the entire house. In a, the event of an emergency, you may need to do that. It's not that common that you need to turn the power off to everything, but if you needed to, this is where you would do it. Now below that main breaker are many different breakers and different types of breakers. So labeling, is important enough that code actually weighs in on it and what code wants is descriptions that will or that are not dependent on the people living there so for instance this room right here study that's actually a good label because it's not dependent on anyone that lives there if this was labeled Katie's room that would be a problem because someone else if Katie moved out and someone else moved in, they wouldn't know which room is Katie's room. Let's talk about breakers now. So this right here is your kind of standard traditional breaker that you will find in all breaker panels. This has the ability to detect short circuits and you know wire and turn itself off. Right now it's in the on position. If it was off, it would be not fully that way, but more this way and sometimes it's hard to tell if it's on or off one way you can tell is if you slightly Move it if there's play in the switch It's off to turn it on you would turn it fully that way and then turn it back the other way and that will turn it on another type of breaker is a two pole breaker this usually goes to things in your house that consume a lot of electricity like a dryer and code actually dictates that two pole breakers have a breaker tie. It's, that's this little thing right here that connects the two breaker switches together. So if you press this one, this one will also be tripped or, or turn off. So you don't want two separate breakers to the same device that, are, that don't have a breaker tie. If, if you have that situation in your breaker box, that's not correct and it needs to be corrected. Another type of breaker that is in more modern breaker panels or, or newer homes is AFCI, uh, which stands for Arc Fault Circuit Interrupter. And what this does, it's, it operates like a normal breaker, but it, it's like a smart breaker. It has the ability as well to detect arcs in wires. So an arc is electricity jumping from one wire to something else, and it's dangerous. It's, an arc can be, is usually very, it's, it's very high heat, and it can start fires. In fact, many fires in houses have been started from wires arcing. So code has evolved over the years, and now newer homes being built requ are required to have AFCI breakers that have the ability, so these breakers have the ability to detect an arc and turn itself off. This test button is to test that the breaker still has that ability to sense an arcs and turn itself off. I don't want to press it right now because I don't want to trip the breaker. There is one other type of breaker that is not in this breaker box, but it's worth mentioning. The reason why it's not in this breaker box because is because in the house it has outlets that are GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter. What that is is it it's a it's a safety uh, device that has the ability to 
measure the current going in and out of an outlet. And if there's any little imbalance in it, it'll shut itself off. Now, the reason why it would do that is if someone is getting shocked, it would cause an imbalance. So it's a safety feature. Now, a lot of outlets are GFCI protected and you usually find those in areas that have the potential to become wet, such as kitchen countertops, bathrooms, laundry rooms, on the exterior of houses. All those places should be GFCI protected and it's usually through an outlet that protects that outlet as well as any other outlets that are downstream of that outlet. Now, a lot of times they combined a AFCI breaker with a GFCI and it's called a dual breaker. This one doesn't have it because it has it on the outlets in the house, but you may have a breaker panel that has a combination and, and these ones are blue a lot of times the dual ones will have a different color test button and they also should be tested to to make sure they continue to have that ability so that is the basic rundown of a breaker panel I wanted to clarify something that I said earlier in the video this breaker here is it has been tripped it has a nice clear indicator showing that it's tripped now if you look at this breaker, you see that it's not fully over to the on position. It's also not fully in the off position. So when it's in the middle like this, it's the tripped position. So I can turn it all the way over the other to the other side, which now it's in the off position. It's fully over to this side. Now to turn it on, I would push it all the way over to this side. So. Just to clarify, there's three positions that a breaker has. There's on, which is to one, to, to one side. There's tripped, which is kind of in the middle. And then there's off, which is to the opposite side. I hope this clears things up. Have a great day and bye for now.